Rise and shine, people. We have a new day today. And there's even more banging again. Nice. It's been a hot minute since I've actually booted up the game. I think the last time I actually legitimately booted up the game was probably April, and it's what, August? God damn. Hold your horses, Kel! Hold it! Let me just brush my teeth. As you can see from this file right over here, I am <laughs> level 50 and I haven't even I haven't even unlocked the deep well yet. I've just been doing some um a little bit of tomfoolery in uh headspace. Hell my buddy, my main man. Cool your jets here. Hello Hello? Sonny, are you there? Yes, I'm here, Kel. Do not worry. I'm not in that bad route anymore. The bad man isn't going to... He isn't going to cause you any harm. No. It's time we open the door and touch some grass. What's up, buddy? Hi, Sonny! Top of the morning to you! <laughs> Well, more like noon, actually. <laughs> uh, I have like nine achievements that I have to go through. However, fortunately, this should be a shorter one. Considering that I did a bulk of the achievements on, on the last day. There we go. There we go. The orange cat looks hungry. Feed it some fish. And I don't have any fish. <laughs> I forgot about this. What the heck? What happened here? Dang it! What's with Aubrey and the Scooter Gang? Sonny, be honest. Do I smell? That probably smells pretty bad, not gonna lie. But if I remember correctly, I have to go to Gino's and get that freaking hero sandwich. And then what else do I have to do? There's like a lot of jobs that I have to do around here. Ah, oh, shit! I have to re I have to recycle so much as well. God damn it! Maybe I'm not prepared for this. Hey guys. Bye guys. Would oh, you look at that? It's Basil. Basil. Hey Kel. Hey Sunny. What's up, Basil? Nice to see you out and about. Are you feeling better after yesterday? Huh? Y yesterday? W what do you mean? You had a big stomach ache, didn't you? That's why you had to go to the bathroom. Ah, uh, uh, oh, right. Y yes, uh, I feel much better now. Did you want to hang out with us today? The Sunny's not going to be around for much longer, you know. Uh, I don't know. M maybe tomorrow. Sorry. Aw, don't worry. You don't have to force yourself. You can always catch up later. Yeah, you're right. Uh, okay then. Uh, see you later then, I uh, guess. Uh, Basil needs to be protected at all costs. Can I just like go around the entirety of faraway town? Like, can we just skip Gino's Pizza for now? We can. Interesting. Which means that now, <laughs> which means that now, I, I'm just gonna have to be looking through all these houses later on. Maybe, maybe this was a bad idea. What am I, what am I thinking? Hello, bah, my dog Lucas ran out of the door again. He's always trying to get out of the house. Sometimes I wonder if he only lives here for the food. Ah, uh, where do you go this time? Do not worry, artist. I got your back. I'm just... Oh, what's up? Hey, Polly. Ah, Basil hasn't been taking care of his flowers lately. I hope he feels better soon. His flowers need him. Don't worry, he will. Under my supervision, he will. Anyways, as I was saying, do not worry, artist. I will find your dog, Lucas. He should be, like, right here. What's up, boy? And there he goes. And if... In theory, I am, in theory, if I'm correct, 
I should go back to talk with him. If I can move! So I can get a piece of trash. I got trash! Ah, <laughs> <sighs> Lucas. Don't worry me like that. Hey, did you send Lucas back here? I'm sorry for the trouble. Here, take this. Thank you very much for the paintbrush. Not really gonna be useful for me, but you know what? I'm not gonna say no. I'm not gonna say no, no to my neighbors. I love my neighbors. I love my friends. I love my town. They'll never leave me behind. They won't abandon me. All right. Here is where I can get fish. You don't understand anything they're saying. Hello, fish. Yes, fish, please. Thank you. Of course, I hear dogs barking outside, but you know what? Can I take the job right now? I can. All right. Give me like five minutes, Kel. All right, I'm done, lady. Thank you very much for the $20. I'll be gladly taking these $20 and probably be spending it in your fucking mart again. Actually, you know what? I'm not, I'm buying another fish right now. Actually, you know what? Make, make that three fishes. Three fish. Fish eye. Yeah. There we go. I have four fish. Oh, what am I going to be using meat for? That's what I want to know. I hope he meat again. Oh, <laughs> Shut up, bro. I, I like dad jokes, but come on. Like, you could think of something better. All right, Kel. Uh, remember how he said give me five minutes? Yeah, I'm going to need like a few more minutes so I can fin finish this. No hard feelings, okay? You know, I just realized if getting like 20 to 30 dollars is this easy, especially like in the 90s, like... Holy shit, I would have been working up the wazoo by now, but no, it's not that simple. Like, imagine doing this baby easy job and you get $30. Holy shit. Uh-oh. Hey, uh, Sonny, let's go somewhere else. Kel? Son, is that you? What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be doing errands for your mom? Oh, hi, Dad. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Come on, Sonny. Don't we have that really important thing we gotta go do? Yeah, we should go. Don't wanna be late. <laughs> oh, all right then. See you later, champ. Come on, Sonny. Don't we have that really important thing? Jeez, Cal. <laughs> you really have been slacking off for who knows how long. All right, cat. I have you your fish over here. Eat up. Here's your fish. And man's just hopping away. Can't lift the gift for you. Bubble wrap. Completely forgot what that does. Therapeutic packaging. Alright. I'm going to assume it does pretty much nothing. <laughs> hey, it's you guys again. You're here for moral support or what? <laughs> I really appreciate it. Come on in! I'm almost done fixing this dang leak. Alright, buddy over here went back to the shop. The fucking hardware shop. And he told me that his leak got worse. And I can see that, yep, that's a pretty bad leak you got there. <laughs> Alright, what are we gonna do this time, buddy? <laughs> and good riddance. <laughs> oh, he's gonna bang his head on the wall, isn't he? He's angry. <laughs> into the man-shaped hole and find a seashell yo that's no <laughs> buddy actually just went through his wall buddy's actually in his walls right now <laughs> he's in his walls right now <laughs> is bro okay 
Like, I don't think you should be able to go through walls like that. Jesus. Oh, I also have some news to tell you guys. So, the guys who have the dogs, the, uh, the, the main people, the one who have like three dogs, who are literally like right across my building, they moved out! They moved out! <laughs> I couldn't believe it with my own eyes. And you will not believe what has happened within the last few weeks. The other dog who's in the other, ooh, the other neighbors have. He starts barking way more. Oh, it's just, it's just a never ending fucking. Hey, Sunny, I just remembered something. Do you remember when we were kids and you used to sneak out of the house to go to hobbies in the middle of the night? You could never get up from school on time the next morning. And here on Mario would always ask why we look so tired. I'm sure they suspect something, but I'm glad they never told our moms. We were pretty adventurous back then. <laughs> but yeah, now, it was like, fucking hell. Every time, every time that I'm like, peace and quiet has finally come to the, to my apartment complex. Not even talking about recording, just peace and quiet. That dog always shows up and barks. At least it's only one, but still. Like, for fuck's sakes, how many times do we have to go through this? Still have to pet rock, that's right. Completely forgot about that. I guess it doesn't really matter considering that I pretty much beat everyone with said pet rock. But now, oh, those posters aren't here anymore, are they? Yeah, there's no more help wanted posters. Damn it! I still haven't found Mincy. I have no clue where the fuck she is. Oh, speak of the devil. <laughs> hey, what's up, Mincy? Hey, stranger! How's your latest masterpiece going? Kel! Sunny! Nice to see you guys again. It's going well. I'm just drawing all the different kinds of candy in here. They all look so delicious. I don't think I'll be able to resist buying a treat for myself. Your drawing looks great! You should show the owner, Miss Candice. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Uh, oh, really? I don't know. Should I? Yeah, for sure! Don't you think so too, Sunny? Well, of course. Mm-hmm. Yes, Sonny. I agree. Mincy, you should definitely show her. Or else I will. Oh, no. Uh, please don't. Nah. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. But I really think you should when you finish it. Ah. Uh, okay. I will. Go on ahead, then. You got this, Mincy. Yep. She's... Diligently sketching away. Anyways, hello, Miss Kansas. Happy Jerry, Miss Kansas. What do you expect? Oh, candy, chocolate, caramel, apple. Hmm, nah. He's coming again. Or else. Alright, bootleg Hatsune Miku, calm the fuck down. <laughs> I desperately need as well are some bandages because my god did those wasps do a number on me. Should be able to afford as many as I want now considering that well I got enough fish. I have enough fish for today and for tomorrow yeah. Just give me three for now. Thank you very much. Well if it isn't there on the help wanted things if the help wanted ads aren't there in the other March store do I have to go to their houses directly to talk with them? I don't remember which of their houses it was they, they're, they're in, so I'm just going to have to be going through every single one of them. Hey, what's good? Oh, hey there, tutor. Um, actually, I have a big favor to ask. I've been cramped in this room all summer. I keep hearing the other kids hanging out outside while I'm at my desk with my nose stuck in these rug sheets. Ah, <sighs> I just want to go on to play at the park, even if it's just for a day. My mom said she would be out running errands all day today, so this is probably the only chance I'll get. Could you help me finish today's worksheet? I just want some fresh air. <laughs> really? Wow! You're the best tutor ever, mister! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Finally, I'm free! <laughs> Should we do it? Nah, fuck him. <laughs> Actually, no, I'll, I'll help him out. 
What do we have over here? Brent's math worksheet. Let's finish it. 7 plus 2 times 9. According to PEMDAS, it's 9 times 2, so that'll be 18. So 18 plus 7, that'll be 25. Easy. 5x squared equals 80. So what you want to do first is you want to divide 80 by 5. And if I remember correctly, that would give you 16. So that means x squared would be would equal 16. And considering that the answers already given to me already have the negative numbers, it makes my life much more easier. We just have to find the square root of 16. That being 4 and negative 4. And then for the last question on the sheet. Compute the standard deviation of the following numbers. 43, 47, 50, 53, 39, 40, 60. Then give the z score for a value of 100 rounded to the nearest third decimal. What the fuck is the standard deviation? <laughs> what? Alright, it's time to do a little bit of standard deviation over here. I decided to record this mostly because, you know, I want to be the nerd that I am and try to like figure out this math problem on my own. So over here, technically, we have the uh, standard deviation formula. Don't worry, I'll explain that. And we also have the z-score over here. So to understand this formula over here, it looks very scary. The first time I looked at this, it was very scary as well. But the more that I look at it and the more that I read about it, the more it's starting to make more sense to me. It's basically asking the sum of these two values with, with with x over here being all six of these values and the u uh, micro u whatever it looks like it's supposed to be the population mean so what we first want to do is figure out what the mean for all of this is 43 47 53 39 40 60 yeah you add all those up and divide that by 60 and you get 47 and in order to do all of this, what you basically have to do is you're going to have to do this 43, I know this looks awful, minus 47, and then you're going to have to square that for each of these single numbers. So let's do it over here. 43 minus 47, all right, that's negative 4, and negative 4 squared, that's 16, all right. 47 minus 47, that's 0. Square that and you get 0. 53 minus 47, that's 6. Square that, you get 36. 39 minus 47, that's negative 8. You square that, you get 64. 40 minus 47, that's negative 7. Square that, 49. 60 minus 47, that's 13. You square that, that's 169. So now that we have all these values over here, we want to divide it by the size of the population, which the size of the population is 6. So 16 plus 0, that's 16, plus 36, that's 52, plus 64, that's 116, plus 49, that's 165, plus 169, that's 334. So now we would have to divide that by 6, which would be... 55.66 repeating but not only not only that but we also need to find the square root of that and what we end up finding out is that the standard deviation is 7.461000 blah 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 that kind of shtick all right now that we got all that that that's good that's good now that we have all that we can remove all this crap from the whiteboard from the paint application and now we move on to over here. Z is the standard score and we're, we're trying to find that value. So X over here, the observed value, they already gave us the observed value which was 100. So that means in order to complete this equation, it would be 100 minus the mean of the sample which we found out earlier was 47 divided by the standard deviation of the sample that being 7.461 so 100 minus 47 that's 53 then divide that by let's just go with 7.461 for now and you get 7.103 
And would you look at that? What do we have on our fucking rig sheet right now? I'm done, baby. Come on. If that if that doesn't earn you a like, I don't know what will. That, that that's what that's what matters. There we go. I finished Brent's math rig sheet. Hopefully he has a good time. Ugh, math. Hopefully he has a good time in the park. <laughs> if he doesn't have a good time in the park, I, I will fucking strangle it. <laughs> that little dipshit. You're saying standard deviation? You're joking me. Ah, uh, it's been it's been years since I've taken a math class. Holy shit, this one dog just won't stop barking. My god. Hello. Oh, uh, hi, Mr. Tutor. Um, sorry, this may seem kind of selfish of me, but... You see, my dad isn't home today because he's out running errands. I've been studying in my room all summer and I just want one day to play at the park. Could you please finish my worksheet for today so he doesn't notice? I promise, I'll be home before it gets dark, so please don't tell him. Ah, I thought so. Wait, you mean you'll let me go? Oh, thank you, Mr. Tutor. You're the best. Yay! I'm really going to the park. I wonder what I should do first. I know. I want to play in the sandbox. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks again, mister. I'm going to have some fun. God, I feel bad for these kids. And that also means I'm just leaving her Rikshi behind. <laughs> no. Damn, being cramped up in the room all summer long, and it isn't by your choice? Look, I'm stuck in my room for, for the summer, but that's, that's for my choice, you know? I enjoy making my videos, I enjoy recording, I enjoy playing my games, but even then, I still go out to the gym. But regardless, that just sucks, having to study all, all summer long. Alright, what do you have over here? This glass of lemonade is blank freshing. Which prefix is correct? This freshing? No. Unfreshing? No. Refreshing. There we go. What is the correct abbreviation for the word wait? Uh, I've never had to use abbreviations for wait. I've almost always had to use the units, like pounds and ounces. I would assume it's WT. I'll go with that. What words means to move forward on the hands and knees? Slither, crawl, crawl. Well, that was a lot more easier than <laughs> that was a lot more easier than fucking Brent's math worksheet. Ugh, language. Gotta love language classes. G gotta love English classes. Well, one of the few classes that I, I somehow do pretty bad in. Well, not bad, bad, but I'm just not a material. <laughs> I also just realized I have I have all this trash accumulated. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> What's up, Brent? This is so much fun! <laughs> Just running around the slide. Hey, what's up, Joy? Hop! And a hop! And a hop! And a hop! As much as I would appreciate looking at these guys having so much fun right now, this goddamn dog won't stop barking! I'm talking to a muted mic again. As I was saying to this muted mic, thank god I noticed just in time, I have all this accumulated trash. Might as well turn it in right now. Hello, youngins! I see you have some trash with you. Thanks. I'll be sure to dispose of this properly. Here is seven dollars for your help. Ho <laughs> ho! All right, now that that's finished, I should probably actually go to Geno's, right? I, I I think that's time for me to go to Geno's. Oh, that's right, the seashell. I forgot that fucking water leaking guy <laughs> he just bolted through his fucking walls. Oh, come on, you're not done with it yet? And there! It's finally done! Thanks for collecting all these cute seashells for me. Here's something I made for you. A seashell necklace. My friends made one for me when I left boarding school on the island, so I thought I could share that feeling with someone else. I hope that seeing it reminds you of your time here. Good luck with everything! I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, you know what? I'll think I'll take it. I don't think I I don't think I'll need the juice, but the heart and the defense 
It's really fucking great. Alright, you know what? Uh, let me get this job right out of the way. Pizza's here? Great, just leave it on the floor. I'll come and get it. Social distancing, people. Social distancing. Alright, now that we got that finished. Gino, my good boy! Can you tell me my rating? Got recent feedback. 10 out of 10! Let's fucking go. Alright, now I'm gonna need your hero sandwich. This shit, this shit always cracks me up. Oh, I see. You're the family that keeps ordering sandwiches instead of pizza. But it's on the menu, isn't it? <laughs> so judgmental, Gino. <laughs> so fucking judgmental. Come on, my brother in Christ. I just want my hero sandwich and just head out right now. All right, now that we finally got that settled, we finally got that out of the way. I recall correctly, Brett and Joy are having such a great time together. There should be... Oh, I didn't even realize it was right there. <laughs> I thought it was over here this entire time. No, I just guess I must have been an idiot and just didn't notice this. An unassuming beehive. You want to disturb it. <laughs> Fuck. 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 Ouch. Ouch. Ouch! Kill! Hurry the fuck up! Alright. One buzzle down. One buzzle down. Uh. No, not an orange, Joe. Fuck it, I'm gonna have to bandage him up. There he goes, there he goes. I'm not taking any risks. All right, fuck you, wasp. <clears throat> All right. Whoa, now. Ouch! Come on, come on. There goes one. Can we get the other one? Can we get the other one? And there goes the other. Imagine fucking. I I would not want to like throw hands at a wasp. Well, there goes the. There goes the wasp nest, or I guess the bees that they call it. Man, fuck wasps. Honestly, fuck wasps. This is probably the wrong term to say it, but I, I would gladly do an entire genocide of fucking wasps. Fuck them. Fuck them. Alright, now that we're finally here, make yourself at home. I got a basketball hoop and boombox. That's interesting, Kel. However, Mom won't let me play too loud because it's bad for Sally. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is when he tells me, yeah, I'm a big brother now. Fuck, I just realized, Kel's the middle child. Fuck. Imagine being the middle- I always heard like horror stories of like being the middle child. The neglected one. <laughs> I'm actually gonna turn this off for now. Anyways, I heard you have a wardrobe. Hey, there's twenty dollars in here. Take it. I'll take this. I'll just take that. <laughs> Thank you very much for your patronage at the Sunny Academy, Kel. You should probably. Oh. Oh, that's right, the Polly. I was wondering. I was like, who the fuck is right there? No, it's Polly telling us. Yeah, we can't find Basil. Oh, <laughs> look at that stuffed animal. Probably belongs to Hector. <laughs> Uh, I will actually be taking this. What you thinking about my mom's bag for, Sonny? Holy shit, why is my... Why is my computer sounding like a jet right now? <laughs> what the fuck did I do? I, I guess it doesn't like the pepper spray. I'll take it. Whoa! My mom had pepper spray? That could come in handy if we run into any trouble. Good thinking, Sonny. Jesus, <laughs> I don't know why, there, the, the few times, I, this isn't the first time I've heard my computer sound like a jet before, I've heard it a few times, it only ever happens when I'm playing Overwatch at the home, because <laughs> my computer just has to crank everything up to 100. Hey Kel, Sunny, sorry for intruding, I was just wondering if you know where Basil is. Unfortunately, he's not with us, as much as I really want Basil to be in the party, 
he's not here with us. I do know where he is though. We'll, we'll definitely be on the lookout. All right, now that we have the pepper spray, this would actually be a really good fucking time to save right now. It is imperative that I save right now. Thank you very much. I can't go back in, right? Oh, hold on, Sonny. <laughs> you can't go back home yet when there's so much to do. All right, consider that it's still, it's still the morning. It's still, or afternoon, whatever. It's not evening yet. Everything shouldn't be reset now. I still have to wait a bit. Okay, now it's evening. Oh, poor Basil. With this added context, it definitely helps a lot more knowing that, you know, they they, are, they weren't technically picking on him. This isn't textbook bullying. But damn, just hearing this out of context, it, you honestly feel for Kel. You honestly feel his anger. What the? It's Kel and Sunny again. Why do you always show up? I'm here to protect my friends, all right? I'm here to protect my friends that I love dearly. And that also includes Aubrey too, so, to a great extent. However, right now, I'm sorry, Aubrey. You, you're probably going to have to look away. I beg of you. Because you're not going to like what's going to happen next. But yeah, I stick up for my friends. You, you know, I, I'm, I'm a man of justice, all right? Come on, Aubrey. Please? Aww. Let's settle this, Kel. If you and Sunny are gonna pick a fight with me and my friends, you got one. Come on, gang. Let's teach them a lesson. Okay. Um. Don't say I didn't warn you. Attack! Oh, let me just encourage myself up. No! Encourage me! Alright, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> oh, my eyes! Master, I can't see! <laughs> what trickery is this? Ouch, that hurts. What the heck is this? Pepper spray? Really? Ah! You two are the worst! Wow! <laughs> that was a lot more easier than I thought! I didn't get a beating like last time! <laughs> no! This can't be happening! How could we lose to just the two of them? That doesn't even make sense! Ah! Uh, I wanna go home. Let's just get out of here. You said it. Well, that's um anticlimactic. You coming, Aubrey? Oh. Okay. Catch you later then. Aubrey? Don't say I didn't warn you. I told you, you weren't going to like what's happened next. All right, the idea for that fight was that we just needed to get the achievement. We do not, I repeat, we do not need to actually continue on with the story. This will actually be much, for, much more useful for later on. And by later on, I mean the recycle path. Like I said before, I just only needed to use it once, and so why not just do a little bit of safe scumming? We do a little bit of safe scumming here. <laughs> that if I want to try beating these guys legitimately, yeah, that's going to take some, going to take some long hard bandages. Oh no! How? <laughs> you asked for it. Oh, I'm going to have to do this run all over again, aren't I? I- Ouch! Dude! This is so not fucking fair. Oh my god. I, I did all this work for nothing. 
It's definitely possible to try to beat them, but you're gonna have to like save up all the money they have from like the last from, from, from first of all, you're gonna have to save up all the money from one day left and then you're gonna have to save up the money from here in two days left My bad three days left not one day left you are gonna have to save up uh, money from both days Which in theory if you do everything should probably be like around 250 But I, I could be wrong, but ain't no way Ain't no way am I going to be beating these guys with what I have right now. Man, I don't want to lose, but I don't want to use my pepper spray. I really need it. Oh, fuck me. Why couldn't I beat the Recycle Path the first time? God. And these guys take forever to kill me. Holy shit. It's already been like three turns and they, they haven't killed me yet. This man really spent one fucking turn just to tell me... Oh, you know what? Your attack is going down, buddy. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I don't I don't like losing. I don't like losing. Well, we're back here now, are we? Sorry. <laughs> Fuck. Give your little brother a hug? No. This is what nightmares are made of, my god. <laughs> ah yes, the hero saves the day. Man! I couldn't I have a good sibling like here over here. Man's like sibling of the century, my god. Aw, oh, poor Basil. It also looks he <laughs> it looks hella weird seeing these guys run. It's more like heroes like fast walking. <laughs> oh. You see, this is why we need to protect Basil. All the shit that he's gone through. This man just... He really needs some people. He needs some friends. He needs a hug. Basil, my boy. Oh, Sunny. There's... No way out of this, is there? Oh fuck, bro! Poor Basil's been through so much these past few days. <sighs> every time, every time. Gotta give my boy Kill a high five. Come on now. I'm not gonna leave him hanging. Anyways, now that it's the eve. <laughs> Holy shit, Kel. I forgot you don't you don't heal up. Somehow, some way, I heal up, but not you. Hello, little one. Here you go, here's your fish. Gotta love me some orange cats. They're the best kind of cats. Just bouncing away. What do we have? What do we have? An arcade piece. I think I know who would gladly use that. Hello! Today is the wedding anniversary for my husband and me, but he hasn't mentioned it all day. wonder if he had forgotten. Ah, uh, maybe I've been too tough on him lately. He has been gaining some weight recently, and I've been nagging him about that. I've been trying to put him on a diet, but I'm afraid that he's taking it too personally. I just want him to take care of himself better. You understand, don't you? Uh, yeah, I do. Thanks. You know, maybe tonight can be an exception. We're celebrating 15 years of our marriage after all. He's always raving about Gino's pizza and how good it is. I'm thinking about buying a whole pizza for us to share as a family. What do you think? Good. Good, 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 good. Can't go wrong with pizza. Yes. It's okay to eat oily foods once in a while. Everything in moderation. I'll have one whole pizza, please. Coming right up. Pizza delivery! Thank you very much, Gino. Here we go. Please enjoy this delicious whole pizza. Mmm. Thank you. And thank you for your suggestion. I'm sure my husband will love this. I'm sure he'll love it too, man. Nobody can say no to pizza. Anyways, Gino, my buddy, or Glasses Man. I don't know which one of you guys is Gino, honestly. 
I have a very important arcade piece you got over here. Hey, that's the missing arcade piece I've been looking for. Could, could I maybe take it off your hands? There we go. All right, cool. Now let's see here. There you go. Good as new. Here, take the CD as thanks. I bought it at Hobbies last week, but forgot I already had a copy at home. Thank you very much. What are you even playing? Now if you'll excuse me, I must er, make sure this game works correctly. Naturally, naturally. Mincy, what's up? Well, what do you know? It's that Mincy drawing away again. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey Mincy, nothing much. Just hanging out as usual. I see that you're drawing flowers this time. Yeah, there's so many different types of flowers, so I'm trying to draw one of each. Amazing work as always, Mincy. You should know that I'm your number one fan, and Sunny is your number two fan. Probably. You can do this, Mincy. We're cheering you on. Yes, I can do it. Thank you, Kel. Thank you, Sunny. Diligently sketching right away, just as I like to see it. Oh man, I'm in trouble now. I almost forgot that it was me and my wife's anniversary today. So here I am doing some last minute damage control. <laughs> I know I've been goofing up recently, so I want to make sure that this gift really impresses her. Except, like always, I have no idea what I'm doing. I think I'd accept any help at this point. Say, could you kids do me a favor and help me pick out a gift for my wife from the counter? Thanks in advance. Uh, sure? Choosing between candy, caramel apples, and chocolate. That's a hard choice. Smiley, smiley. You buy caramel apples. Fuck. Which one? All right. I pray to whoever. I pray to the code gods. Caramel apples. All right. Right? Yeah. Caramel apples. She'll love caramel apples. You think that'll impress her? I, I do sure. I do sure hope. I mean, they are the most expensive after all. Sweet. Thanks for getting me out of a pinch again. This was cutting it way too close. Hello, ma'am. I'd like to purchase some caramel apples, please. It's for my lovely wife. Today's our anniversary. Of course! Smiley, smiley. Oh my god, my goddamn voice is breaking up. <clears throat> Thank you, and please come again. Smiley, smiley. Thanks for the help, kids. Be on my way now. Wish me luck. So much candy. <laughs> cardboard cut out of the shop. <laughs> why? Just why is there a cardboard cut out of, of you over here? So I just realized something. I just realized something. In theory. In theory. Use it on Kel. The orange juice and coffee combination created a questionable flavor. Oh, what, seriously? Nothing? Come on. That was my only orange Joe left. Also, since Hero is here, might as well give him something. Yeah, Hero can rock some cool glasses. Even cooler when worn indoors. I would give him the You Rock cap, but that's not really something I could give it to just anybody, even if it is Hero. I mean, after all, he would need to beat me in pet rocks, so... No way he's doing that! <laughs> no way in hell is he doing that! I had my son go to fix it to buy a new lamp for my living room, but he's taking a sweet time! Bah! He's always so slow with these things. I wish someone would tell him to hurry up. I don't have all day! Uh, don't worry, madam. I got you! I'll tell your son to go hurry the fuck up! <laughs> Hey, would you look at that? <laughs> My love, it's our anniversary today, so I bought you some caramel apples. Oh, you actually remembered. Thank you, dear. This is so thoughtful of you. 
Actually, I have a gift for you too. It's a whole pizza from Gino's Pizza. A whole pizza? My love, you shouldn't have. This is the best gift I've ever received in my life. I... I thought you'd like it. I've been hard on you lately. So I thought your favorite food might cheer you up. No, don't be sorry, my love. I know you only want what's best for me. I'm sorry for being so difficult. Don't be silly, honey. I love you just the way you are. Let's have pizza today and tomorrow. How does that sound? Oh, my love, you really mean that? You're so beautiful right now that I could kiss you. Oh, dear. You're making me blush. Ugh. This is gross. I'm just gonna go back to my room. Yeah, anyway, we're, we're just over here bing chilling. We'll have to see if these guys got their shit resolved. Hey, it's you kids again. Thanks for convincing me to buy a whole pizza for my husband. He looks so happy right now. It makes me happy to see him happy. As for the gift he gave to me, he probably forgot, but we actually met at the candy store when we were teenagers. He bought me some caramel apples then too. <laughs> he said it was because I was the prettiest girl he had ever seen. Such a simple gesture. The sincerity is what really attracted me to him. He's always been a bit aloof, but I can tell he really does care about me. I guess that's why it's okay if we sometimes disagree. Marriage is all about compromise. Anyway, thank you for helping me today. Here's a gift for you too. Thank you. I'll gladly take this pizza slice. Oof, looks like everything worked out somehow. My wife is so thoughtful. I'm so lucky to have her. She even got me my favorite thing ever. I mean, other than her, of course. You know what? I'm so happy with how this day turned out. Have a pizza slice. I got another pizza slice. Would you look at that? <laughs> you really helped me out back there. Call me if you ever need help with anything. I owe you one. Hey, no problem, my G. I'm glad to see you guys are happy together. And I'm glad that you remember that she is actually the best thing. More better than Gino's Pizza. Oh, that is gross. <laughs> oh, well, damn. I don't know if I should take that personally or not. Considering it is in my name. My son's 10th birthday today. But he won't even leave his room so we can celebrate. Ah, uh, I even bought him a cake. I mean, it's a sad slice of cake right there. <laughs> Alright, where, where is the little buddy over here? Yo. I know your bitch isn't in here. There we go. Oh my god, it's actually me <laughs> on the computer! Poke. Yeah! Who are you? What do you want? Oh, hey! Jesse, was it? We're, um, we're friends of your dad. He asked us to call you down for, to the living room for cake! Dad is friends with a bunch of teenagers? So weird. What's with that sour face? Isn't it your birthday today? Why don't you come down to celebrate? Your dad even got you a cool present. Urgh. I told dad not to do anything for me. Tell him to return everything and get out of my room. Hey, I don't think I like your attitude. What do you have against your dad? Ugh. You see all the school stuff I have here? I... I got all this stuff from mom. Mom doesn't live here anymore, but she sends me stuff like this all the time. But dad... Dad isn't up to date with the trends. Whatever he gets won't be as good as what I already have. So... Whatever he gets is just a waste of his money. So even if it's my birthday, he doesn't need to get anything from me. But... He's doing all this for you because he wants to. You should go down and celebrate. It'll mean more to him than you know. But I... Just go! 
Hey, what are you doing? You're being like this because you care about him, right? He's doing all of this because he cares about you too. If you're going to be leaving him hanging, then he at least deserves an explanation. Now go to the living room and talk to him. I won't let you sit in this chair until you do. Come on, just take the chair. Be the giga chat. <laughs> take the chair. Huh. You're so pushy. But I guess I'll go see dad. And Kel's not wrong. Wow, Kel. That was really mature of you. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I can tell you've really grown up. I guess this means you're not a kid anymore. Aw, why not? Adults are no fun. Kids have it way better. Never mind. Forget I said anything. <laughs> I mean, as a kid, you have the time and you have the energy, but you have no money, no bitches, no, none of that kind of shit. It's all about compromise. Yo! Happy birthday, son! I know we don't have much, but... I went and got you something that I thought you'd like. Here you go. It's some new game called Super Ultra Sprout Mole Eater Revenge of the Moles 3. Dad, you didn't have to. I don't really understand all these new gizmos, but I thought you might like it. Dad, I... I don't have the right game console for this. <laughs> no! Oh my god! <laughs> no! Game? Console? Ah, sorry, I don't understand. Dad, I... Son, I know things have been hard without your mother, but I want you to know that I'm here for you too. Dad, stop worrying about me. I'm doing fine. Just worry about yourself. Oh, Jesse. You can't ask me to do that. You're my son after all. I can't help but worry about you. Even if I can't get you things as nice as your mother, you can't blame me for trying, right? Every time I see you, I just think about how fast you're growing up. One day when you're older, you're probably not going to need me at all anymore. So, just let me be a part of your life for now, okay? Now, I know it's your birthday. But I also know that you like to keep to yourself these days. So why don't you take this slice of cake and eat it in your room? Strawberry, your favorite. It's... It's okay, Dad. I don't mind eating it here. Oh, are you sure? You usually take your food to your room. <laughs> Dad, I... I'm sorry. What is it, son? Are you okay? Did I do something wrong? No, I'm fine. Thanks for the gift, Dad. I... I really like it. Aww. A bittersweet slice of cake. Oh, Jesse. Thanks for convincing my son to come downstairs. You're all real pals. Please, have some cake with us. I got it off the bargain bin since it expires tomorrow, but it's still pretty tasty. Where the fuck did you get the other slice of cake from? <laughs> Hello? A slice of celebratory frosted bread. Strawberry too. I'm surprised that he likes strawberry. Like, no shade of strawberry cake, but he definitely looks like some guy who would really enjoy chocolate. Like, deep chocolate. <laughs> Dark chocolate, that kind of shit. Maybe even cookies and cream, but I, he does not strike me as a strawberry kind of man. Hey, bozo. <laughs> You're gonna have to choose quicker. Ugh, I hate decisions. I think I'm gonna throw up. Eh? Who are you? What do you want? Oh, is my mom asking for me? Tell her to wait. I'm, I'm the one going all out this way to pick up this floor lamp that I don't even care about. Besides... She's so picky. I don't even know why she doesn't do it herself. Ugh. What a trashy situation. These floor lamps are trash. You're trash. Eh. 
Yes. It all makes sense to me now. This world. This world is nothing but trash. Oh. I, sh I should have picked this up immediately. Ideology that just screams, just smells recycletist. Hey you, if my mom wants her lamp so bad, why don't you get it for her? Well, thanks. I've got better things to do. Oh, sure. I almost want to just take the $50 by myself, but... Hey, you know what? <laughs> I I want this achievement, so I'm gonna have to buy it anyways. Thank you very much for the floor lamp. Adieu. I'm, s I'm sensing an evil presence coming from inside my home. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I can never be too careful. Oh, god damn it. Oh, <laughs> your fucking family is the church of bread over here. Don't worry, buddy. I'll t I'll take I'll take this one. Cardboard cutouts of a pair of twins. Something stuck on the back. Find a note. It seems we have gone missing. We couldn't have gotten too far. Find his dear little brother. Find Daphne and Bowen. Your loving older siblings. Well, I already know where they are, so you know this is this isn't gonna take that long. All right, buzzes. I know you're in here. Boo! Ha <laughs> ha! We got you good, didn't we? Hey, wait a second. You're not our darling little brother. Hmm. Our little brother's too cool for us now, isn't he, Bowen? He doesn't even have time to play games with his loving older siblings anymore. Yes, Stefan. It's very regrettable. Ah, we barely get any time off work. When we do, well, Michael's never around to play with us anymore. It's unfair, isn't it, Bowen? Life is so cruel. Well, that's fine. Now we have some new friends. Though, I'm not exactly sure what they do. Entertain us, dear friends. Yes, entertain us. I'm pressing all sorts of buttons and nothing happened. Oh, um, you've got nothing? That's too bad. Well, this was all very fun, but we get bored quite easily. Come, brother. Let's think of more fun games to play. Goodbye, new friends. This has been... pleasant. Well, I cannot say the same for me. This is... this hasn't been pleasant at all. <laughs> Fucking church of bread over here. I think they're taking the... I think they're taking the Eucharist a little too seriously over here. <laughs> Fucking bread everywhere. Alright, don't worry, Michael. Ah, so you have conquered a great evil. What did it cost you? I can still see the pain in your eyes. Ugh, our brother and sister are a real drag, aren't they? Everyone here is the same. Don't worry, bro. Uh, at least they love you. At least they take the time to, you know, play with you, hang out with you. Can't really say the same. Hey, fellas, how's it hanging? Seems like I lost my TV remote again. I remember getting up to go to the bathroom, but when I came back, it was gone. Could you look around the house for it? You gotta be around here somewhere. Mm. Hey, out of the way! Oh, my bad, my, my bad, my bad. Would you look around the house for it? Alright, you said, it, said you went to the bathroom, no? Is it here? No. Is it here? No. Is it here? There we go. I'll gladly take this TV remote for you. But, uh... Hey! I hope that seeing that seashell necklace reminds you of your time here. Good luck with everything. I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh, I thought you were going to add, like, another seashell to it or something. Because, well... I mean, I have another seashell. It'd be pretty dope. But I guess... I guess you won't. Anyways, all American Dad. There's your TV remote. Thanks again, kiddos. I was singing long and hard about it. And I think I accidentally brought it up to the bathroom and forgot to bring it back. Spare me from getting out of this very comfy couch. I cannot thank you enough. Please take another can of orange gel. 
Y'all deserve it. All American Dead. Sounds like he's from the South. Only us Southerners say y'all. And yes, I do actually say y'all. <laughs> Madam, here is your floor lamp. Oh my, what a nice floor lamp. Thank you. You have impeccable taste. Hmm, where's my son Billy? Did he go on one of his tantrums and run off again? Uh, he's so temperamental. Or she wouldn't make such a big deal of it out of everything all the time. Anyway, you're very thoughtful for getting this lamp for me. Please come over anytime. I make a mean cup of coffee. I'll gladly take your coffee. Coffee? Yes, sir. I would love some bitter bean juice. Thank you very much. My coffee machine's right in the kitchen. Careful, it's pretty strong. Oh, would you look at that? It's a, it's a floor lamp that I got. Oh my god. Would you look at that? Speak of the devil. Brothers and sisters, we must all accept that we are trash. Yet, although we may be trash, as long as we remain biodegradable, we may yet be saved. We are recyclists, followers of the Holy Ben. As all of littered, all must accept that they are trash. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Recycle path in this fucking glory right over there. God damn. Well, I'm pretty sure that I have completed everything for now. And much like last episode, I'll have to do everything in Headspace once again. I have to do the deep well. I have to go through fucking Humphrey. But I should be fine if I save right now. So I guess I will see you guys in one day left. Take care, y'all.